The Bonifay City Council is considering closing the Bonifay Police Department again. It will be the second time it closed operations this year. News 13's Jack Cole tells us how the city plans to address crime and how residents are responding. Bonifay Police Department could be shut down for the second time this year for budgetary reasons. Last week, Councilman Larry Cook proposed transferring law enforcement responsibilities to the Holmes County Sheriff's Office. Police Chief Jimmy Macon says a disbandment would have a negative impact on his staff and residents. I feel that it is a, a blow to the officers that was here currently proud of me coming here and it was a blow to the officers that actually have come on since I took over and got hired and things like that. And it's a blow to the citizens of Bonifay. Macon's budget proposal came in at $1.1 million. The Holmes County Sheriff's Office offered to provide services for almost half that. Macon argues his budget is necessary to run the department correctly, asking to bring in more officers since they're already understaffed. I'm just trying to get away from that because we know what the world we're living in now is better in numbers. The sheriff's office took on law enforcement duties for the city earlier this year. The police department ceased operations in May after Sergeant Jody Long was recorded using excessive force on a resident. According to our media partners, the Holmes County Advertiser, residents voiced support for the department in a budget workshop last Thursday. A decision is expected to be made within the next few weeks. In Bonifay, Jack Hole, News 13 Panhandle Strong. News 13 reached out to Councilman Cook for a comment. He did not respond to our call.